Hi folks, welcome to Pokemon Tab. In this video session, we are going to discuss about what is SAP, what makes it so special that the big corporations and especially the Fortune 500 companies wants to run their whole business operation using SAP, what is S4 HANA and as performance testers, what is our role in this evolving technology landscape. Right, so we are going to discuss about all this topic in this video. So stay tuned. First, let's talk about what is SAP. SAP stands for System, Application and Products in Data Processing. So that's the acronym for SAP. It was originally developed by a German multinational software corporation that is specialized in making enterprise softwares. Right. It was founded in the year 1972 and over the years, over the years, right, it's evolved as a most preferred choice of enterprise system for most uh, top corporation. And it also became an industry leader in the last decade. So now coming back to the name SAP, Systems, Application and Products. Why did they name this software as system application products? Let's try to understand. The system, this term implies that SAP is not a single piece of software. There are various modules that are within SAP that are designated to, to do different business processes and operations. So it's a system of interconnected and independent modules. The next term, application, what does that mean? application each uh, modules we can call it as an application because that's designed to do certain business functions and processes and we have a lot of application within the sap so that's the reason they have used that word application and the products product signifies that sap offers a wide range of product for different business entities for example for pharma or whether it's a manufacturing or whether it's a retail, right? They have customized their product and offering it as an individual product for a different business domain. So that's the whole rationale behind naming SAP as SAP. Okay. Now coming back to the topic, what makes it so special or unique that all the business or not all, but most of the this big corporations, Fortune 500 companies wants to run the whole business operation in SAP. Let's talk about that. If you take any business, right, there are four key pillars who are very much essential for running that business. Number one, customers. Number two, employees. Number three, suppliers. And number four, the business owner. Coming back to number one, customers, right? Without customers, there is no business. So for every business, we need base of customer and employees. Obviously, for running the each day-to-day uh, -day business operation, right? We need people to run the business operation. So even employees are must for any business operation or for running any business. Next comes the suppliers for building a product or building a medicine, right? We need the raw materials. So we need trade partners or suppliers with whom we can get what we need in order to build that particular product. So suppliers are also very much essential for running business. Then comes the business owners who runs the business and without them, we cannot run the business. The business owners need to fund for every operations in order to run the business. So even the owner, the business owner is also very much essential for running the business. Now, what is that for SAP? So SAP has clearly identified who are the key people that are involved in this whole business operation. So while designing that product, right, they have kept this in mind. So they have built the product, keeping these people in mind. What are the various operations that are performed by each of these each individual uh, people and what do they need in order to run the business more efficiently? So they have addressed that problem. And that is exactly the reason why SAP has been the preferred choice for all the business. So when it comes to customers, they try to understand you know, what is required of customers. When it comes to customer, we need to know their names, location, their preference, and their age, gender. There's a lot of diverse information that we need to know about our customers before or even you know building a product for them. So all this customer-related information 
they have built a module called customer relationship management and in which they maintain and manage all the customer centric information and coming back to the employees right uh, first we have to start with onboarding people then we have to train them then we have to have a payroll for them then we have to have a retirement plan so all this specific functions that are related to employees uh, sap uses the hr management or the human capital management solution to provide a solution for all the employee centric function and coming back to the suppliers right like you know, procuring the raw materials or identifying or managing the suppliers there's a whole lot of uh, details that we have to do with the suppliers so all those functions or business processes that are related to the suppliers are managed by the supplier relationship management module and coming back to the owners yeah i mean the owners needs to know all the information on top of that they need to know the profit loss all the finance related uh, stuff you know for running the business so all those things are customized and managed in a module called finance and control so sap has addressed or optimized the operations that are run by each of the stakeholders in a very effective way by creating separate application for uh, each of these stakeholders and on top of that what it has done is it has integrated all these different modules that has made it more powerful for making any decision making a purpose or trying to get a holistic picture of what is happening in the business so for various business related decision making process this integration between these components or the modules have been very useful so that's made it more powerful so that's the secret sauce of sap so now what is s4 right uh, we all know sap was uh, developed in the year 1972 over the years they have released so many version and now the latest version that they have released is s4 hana sweet for hana so what is interesting about this s4 hana let's try to understand from the name itself you can uh, understand it's a sweet for hana so it offers a lot of advanced features and it can seamlessly integrate with lot of other products and it has this famous in memory computing platform so that's uh, something you know that makes it more powerful in uh, in terms of performance so there are uh, some advanced features that can that have been incorporated into this new version of s4 and that has made it so uh, more powerful and most of the companies are migrating from their older version of sap to this new version of s4 hana and the interesting thing is sap has set a deadline for this migration activity initially that was set for 2025 and now it has been changed to 2027 and all the big companies or the corporations who are running their uh, business operation on sap needs to migrate it from the older version to the newer version and it's not a simple thing to do because they have this whole customization that has been done on that old platform all the customization all the integration all everything needs to be migrated to the new platform and while that migration is happening uh, the quality engineers the sap developers the, you know, all the functional experts they need to make sure nothing breaks in the new platform and as a performance test is what is there for us right like we need to understand So it's a performance justice uh, role to ensure when this migration happens from the old platform to the new platform right it's our duty to ensure that the performance of all the business process or the transaction whatever that was happening in that old stack is performant enough in the new stack as well and it is also our responsibility right like you no know, i mean there is a lot of features cloud based to solutioning so a lot of things are there computing platform so we need to uh, see how scalable is this new solution and how much resources we need to provide in this new platform so it's a lot of things a uh, lot of scope for performance just uh, in this area and uh, i think um, people who are skilled in sap performance testers are going to be in very high demand for next uh, you know 5 7 years so if you want to uh, increase your salary or looking for a high right it's high time that you start learning sap performance testing 
Thank you and have a happy learning. If you want to listen to more such interesting videos and contents that are related to performance testing, engineering, SAP performance testing, front end performance testing, we have planned for a lot of videos. And if you want to listen to all such videos, please do like and subscribe our video. Thank you. Have a great day.